So this is probably one of the least expensive 4K camcorders, handy cams, I don't know what you want to call it, uh, that is currently probably on Amazon. And the guys over at Ordro actually sent this to me and they're like, take a look at it, let us know what you think, do as you will. So it's not a sponsored video, but just be aware that they did send it to me and because of that, I, well, I appreciate that, that's very cool. But I do have full ability to, to, to give my own thoughts. So um, I had done a review for them previously on, on this little guy and this is their FPV camera which and I'll put links to the review actually that I did for this up here and if you are someone that watches some of our videos you'll actually see me wear this on occasion I actually do like it it's one of those things you just kind of mount on your head and I use it when I'm filming stuff that I'm testing that's in front of me and it's really beneficial for you guys to see what I'm seeing. Nice, I, I actually really like this thing. Is it as good quality wise as like say a GoPro? No, but is it way more convenient? Yes, and do you have to have this big weird harness and GoPro attached to you? No, it's just so nice to be able to just angle it and you're good. So I really do like that. This, I think, you know, one of the things that you and I have to remember is this is, this is a budget camcorder. Right, this is a budget camcorder. Now, what I'm seeing from the photo is that this is giving you all the bells and whistles. It is coming at you full stop with just about anything someone that's possibly just wanting a camera could ask for. So we're gonna take a look at what comes in here. We're gonna look at what the specs are on the Amazon listing. And of course, me and my wife are gonna go out for a little walk and we're gonna take the camera with us and we're gonna we're gonna try it out and then we'll we'll see what our thoughts are. Alright guys, that's that's all coming up. Okay, so this is the Ordro AC3, as you can see here on the listing, the AC3 4K camcorder digital camera. It does 1080p 60, so if you do want some ability to slow some stuff down, you can do it. Infrared night vision, big screen, microphone, wide angle lens. The wide angle lens, just so you guys know, based on what I can see here, is just kind of a thread mount wide angle, but still, they include it, that's cool. Uh, lens hood, 32 gig card, nice. Handle, two, batter two batteries, carrying case. Okay, so this is the listing. Um, Again, with the ones that they sent us, sometimes they're not exactly what is here, but we'll find out. Okay, so here's here's the case. First off, it comes in this lovely little case, which is awesome. This is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I was like, oh, it's it's all gonna fit in this little tiny. You just kind of throw it all in. Nope, they made this look, look and feel fairly, fairly like professional, which is kind of nice. Now, I have taken it out of here because I wanted to charge one of the batteries just to make sure and I will talk about that in a second. So this this is it. I'm going to spin this around a little bit. You guys hopefully can see that okay. Before we get into this part, up in here you get a couple things. So we'll unzip this. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. You do get just a little case. Now this is a little tiny case with a strap. You know, if you want to just take the camera out, the little camcorder out all by its lonesome, and you don't want any of the attachments, you don't want to carry this whole big thing with you, you just want to throw the camcorder because you're you're on holidays and you know that it's what it's doing is going to be good enough. You have this, which is, you get a little remote, you get a little cap. I'll take some of this out for you guys because I think it's important for you guys to see this stuff. So, I'll lay it all here. You get a little lens cap, which is cool. You get more cables than I know what to do with. Micro USB to USB. You get USB to mini USB. You get an HDMI cable. You get this one here, which is mini USB to, I don't even know, this is to, I don't, why, I, there's so many cables in here, I don't even know what they're all for. To female USB and three and a half millimeter. You get, this, this is what I'm guessing you're going to use to put the wide angle on. So it's like you, you'd mount it on to your lens, maybe. I'm not even sure, but cool. I'm not sure. And you get you get a remote. Okay, and again, I just find it really amazing at, what is this, 260 bucks. And just so you guys know, before you go any further, uh, Orjo actually gave me, I think, some 10% off coupons. I have to find them, but 
they'll be down there and they're valid till I think the end of November of this year, so 2020. So you get this little bag full of goodies. So that's that's kind of cool. Zip that back up again. You get the little case, which again is cool. And you get the 32 gig, and it's full SD, full SD card. You get a little microfiber cloth, and you get a whole bunch of documents. So what do you get in here? I don't even know. You get, that's user manual, some other stuff. QR code, I think this is a QR codes for the actual Ordro app. Oh no, so this is just a little follow us on, on the interwebs, on the social medias. So, okay, we get a bigger user manual. Uh, don't even know, that's, that's must be warranty stuff, but it's all in Chinese or Japanese. Quality assurance and something for the LED light. Yeah, you get an LED light. Like a lot of LED lights, honestly, you can buy cheap ones and they still cost you like $80. That's, that's all right. You get an LED light with this. But I am gonna keep, I'm gonna keep this out because we're gonna need one. Cleaning cloth, super cool. You guys can keep all that stuff in here. Then to get to the goody parts, this is the part we're all really concerned with, right? So, this is where all the stuff is. First off, before we even get to the camera. Now, again, I took this out last night because I wanted to make sure I was charging it. Okay, so I wanted to have a, a charge battery. So, first off, here's your LED light. I just Really, you get a little LED light, yep. So, this, there it is. Nice little, little soft, like a little soft diffuser that's on there. This, oh, this must be why you get the different ones to charge different things. The little tripod mount, so you can mount that on there. This is where you're gonna charge it, so there's that micro USB. This is your power, so if we tap this, right, you'll see the, come on, doesn't look that bright now, but there's the little adjuster, so you can just crank that right up. That's, that's good and bright. That's gonna be helpful if you need extra light, right? Yeah, that's a whole bunch of, all right. The fact that they throw in something like that, and you can tap this, Right? Come on. Free little LED light with a little soft panel on it. I love that. And it does come with this. So this of course is how you and I can mount this and you can angle it. So this can turn and you can spin this up and down and get it however you want. Even if you just bought this for all the adapters, it gives you more adapters and then you know what to do with. And that just kind of goes in there beautifully. Awesome. You get a microphone because microphone on here probably decent but this one better so you get little tiny microphone it's going to go into the mic jack and that means that the camera has a mic jack so maybe you have this one and you decide I have better ones well use the better one as long as it connects with one of these you're good because this is a little tiny one is it gonna help yes is it gonna help with wind noise for sure because it's got one of these and if you have something that has a wind muff or a dead cat, you can just kind of slide that on there. I haven't even looked. That's that's super cool as well. We're gonna we're gonna do it all up when we head out for sure. Um, you also get this is like the handle. You get this little tiny handle. I haven't opened this part yet. You can see it in the photo here. This mounts on the bottom, and basically that must be the instructions. Yeah, the instructions for the handle. But this is gonna mount in the bottom, and then you got this. Right? You get those low shots, just kind of... Come on, that's that would even cost you. There's no way you're even probably getting this on, on the old Amazon for, you know, 20 or 30 bucks. You start adding up all the accessories. Yeah, I think that's cool. It's got a little... I don't know. Oh, just a, just a spot right there. I thought, maybe, is it a button? No, but you put that there. But what's cool is it does have these quarter inch up there as well. So because it's got little quarter inch threads on both sides, you and I could attach stuff to these. And these can be tightened. They're just like Allen, Allen keys, Allen screws. So you can tighten these up if they're not snug enough for you, but it's gonna go down this way. So really you don't need it to be super tight. You want it because the camera is gonna put all the weight down there. Yeah, that's, that's all right. Folds up nice. That's cool. I like that. You get, these are gonna be, jeez, this is gonna be, looks like your different, these are the different hoods for, depending on what camera lens you have on, right? Because you have the, the wide, which is this. So if you wanna 
put this in to your camera right now and then this would go on to give this some more protection because one of the things when you go wider is that you have a bigger chance of getting like lens flares because you're gathering more light and when you're shooting over here and this light is actually like my light right now this light over here isn't pushing out or is pushing that's hidden from the side that lens hood is definitely going to help and this i don't know how good it's going to be we'll we'll try it we'll attach it see what it's like it's a it's a wide angle it's gonna gonna help how wide is it i don't know does it say it is a 0 0.39 0 0.39 times so that's that's actually quite wide all right that's cool put that back in there all kinds of all kinds of goodies that they're giving you you get another little bracket what is this for i don't even know what this is for oh it's a multi one so you put that in your cold shoe look at that put that in your cold shoe now you've got literally three cold shoes one two three so you can kind of mount all kinds of stuff to here so you got your light on here you got your microphone on here you got something else on here that's cool see all this cool stuff battery charger yeah see i don't think mine came with two extra batteries this one says two batteries but i definitely don't see a second a second battery but it could be like i said the fact that mine is a unit that they sent out for review so that's all right so here it is and i was looking yesterday for the battery battery is in the camera now here's the thing to realize there's a little hopefully you guys can see that there's a little open there so you do this and this opens um pop that out on here and i didn't realize this i took it out last night put it on the charger i was like cool i'll just let that run all night there is a little plastic piece that went across that so you have to take that off it's like a little piece of tape or else nothing works because i was like i put it, the battery in this morning and i'm like my it's a dead camera no it's a battery that isn't making connection so pop that in there and you're good to go now here it is you guys can see it right you even get a little light on the door so when the door swings open you can turn the light on so 4k and if we look here just so you guys can see it 60 ratings four and a half stars that's cool uh video capture 1080p 4k lens it's wide with this is my guess it is 4k but it's and it's a weird 4k resolution that i've seen come out right now most 4k is 38 uh 3840 by 2160 i believe it is this one's 2880 by 2160 so it's actually doing the 1440 by 1080 doubler versus the 1920 by 1080 doubler which is kind of what 4k normally does is it a big deal probably not is it a little lower in resolution than a lot of a lot of 4k cameras it is because you lose a little bit in the in in the width for resolution but we'll see when we go out a digital zoom it does have in here like a stopping point i noticed in the in the zoom so once you get up to a certain point it kind of pauses because it knows that if you want to go further which you can you just kind of hit the zoom button again it really starts to go into that bad digital zoom i guess it's just too much supports from 16 to 128 cards this says everything with two batteries i i don't see two batteries in mine not a big issue for me but it is what it is on the back here just you guys see battery goes in here this is going to be a usb port this is going to be if you crack this open here right your hdmi and your usb port in there this is the button that will turn on your infrared if you're shooting in the dark start stop this is going to go from uh settings to video to photo so depending on where this sits right that's that's going to be photo on the side that's going to be video and then this side over here is going into your settings i believe so it says set on there right if we open this up on here display so that allows you to either you'll see the display turn on here you can have the display on right tap it again display is off so you get all the information goes away if you tap it again it actually turns the display off because that's going to help you if you need to it's going to help with getting a little bit prolonged battery life so you can actually tap that and the display just turns right off so if you had anything lined up or everything's all lined up and you had this on a tripod you could be like hit record and i'm going to just turn the display off because i need it to record longer so that makes sense uh menu here this menu of course is going to go in you can see that right there so resolution and this part here right this resolution all depends on what you're on so if you're in photo and you go through all this 
it's all based around the photography. If you're in video, all this is based on video. So I'm in video right now, so you'll see this will give me all video resolution. If I go to photo, for instance, now if you hit that menu button, you could also hit it here, but if you hit the menu button, you'll see resolution is all based on photography. So kind of go through here. Now the one that's there, you'll see anti-shake and face detect. I was playing with it this morning. Face detect seems to lock on. Anti-shake seems to help a little bit, I'm guessing. We come back to video and go in there. You will see that there's no anti-shake in here. So there doesn't look like there's any stabilizer. So stabilizer is you, keep your hands steady. And if you go to the settings here, you'll see the setup. And the setup here is a little tiny different because it's kind of the whole system in general. So formatting the card, setting your date and time, Hertz. Hertz is important. Here in North America, we're 60 Hertz. This was set to 50, so I had to switch it. Uh, sound, if you want to actually record sound, yes or no, your language. Far mode is something too. If you hit far mode, what happens is when you turn on the video, it's automatically a little closer and gives you a bit more reach for that zoom. I'm not sure how it's doing it, but it has it. If you actually turn this off, then it's a bit wider right out of the, right, right when you turn it on. So, and you do get a little visual. So if I hit far mode on right here, you'll see I can turn that on. Whatever's red is what's enabled. You'll actually see that when I go to video, for instance, and turn that, you'll see a little telescope in the top. And, and this is, there's, there's your zoom rocker right there. So it doesn't have a big zoom, you guys can see it here, but there's, there's full wide, you guys may not be, there it is. There's full wide right there. You can see, and this is telephoto, right? And I'll zoom into where it says it's good. And that kind of fills up the, the whole frame, kind of come out of there again, full wide. And then we'll go back into that settings, oops, other way, settings, and turn that telephoto off, and go back to video, and you'll see it full wide. Like, it's, it's considerably wider, right? So now you can zoom into there, which is about where the other one started. So I think what happens is it starts there and it allows you to have more digital zoom if you, if you so choose. But it's smooth, like the zoom, is, the zoom seems smooth. No stabilizer, that's, that's a little unfortunate, but it seems to be okay. Other than that, you do have your power button if you wanna manually turn it on and off. This button here is your infrared. So again, I'll just kind of tilt that for you guys if you wanna see it. And if it was dark in here, I could tap that and you'll get the infrared turn on. So you'll see it kind of gets that black and whitey, right? There it goes. And over here, display menu, play button, and you have a light. So you guys can see it in the front. If I tap that, you get that little light. So the one that shines up there. So just in case you don't need the power of this, but just a little light will do you. There it is. So it seems pretty, pretty featureful. Oh yeah, there's your SD card. That's where your SD card is gonna go. And there is where you're gonna mount your tripod. There's also on the front here, uh, a little piece of plastic that covers up, I'm guessing the little sensor on the front, which is gonna help with your focus. You and I, we're gonna go for a walk. And I'll come back, we'll talk with you guys, and really, we'll just see what it, what it looks like. Because that's kind of important. All right guys, I'm, I'm gonna do it up. All right, let's, let's go for a walk. So, we're, we're trying the camera out. This definitely doesn't have any kind of image stabilization that I can tell. So I got the, the ultra wide, that little screw on lens on right now. So you guys will be able to get a, an idea. I also have the little external microphone to see if that's helpful. I think it is. And uh, it's nice and wide though with that wide angle. I can't really see myself because it's so bright out, but you guys should be able to get an idea. And we're gonna, we're gonna continue walking. <sighs>
All right, so this is as wide as the normal lens goes. So without that little ultra wide on there, this is as far as you're getting. So, and I, and I got pretty long arms. So if you need to do vlogging, which I don't know if this camera is really for that, but if you need to, you need either that wide angle or longer arms than me. But the footage from now till the end will be just the camera without any additional lenses. All right, guys, so we're back from our walk, and it was really nice, really nice to get outside, actually, me and Mary. Nice to go spend some time outside before the super cold weather decides to hit us. But I wanted to talk a little bit about the footage you guys just saw, just kind of go over some of the features of the camera. Image quality in full wide, actually, is, isn't bad. It's kind of like action camera -y. It's kind of what I expected from the that point of view camera that I kind of talked about. It's almost like it's running kind of the same sensor as that inside this camera. And really you can tell when you go through that zoom range and you can see a clip here when you really start zooming in the amount of pixelation that happens and it kind of mats and gets this really painterly kind of look to it, um, which is something that we see when a program is doing a lot of encoding where it's trying to enlarge pixels. Would I use the zoom? Not really, and you can really see it here that that image, like you have really have no idea what it was. That was a bunch of like seagulls that were sitting actually on, on the ground. Now the other thing is that the camera has no image stabilization. So I want you guys just, I have the computer up here, and you guys saw, I'm gonna just turn the volume down here, but you guys kind of saw here, like looking at this footage, it's 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 nice and steady right now i did run this through an image stabilizer so because this is so wide and it does capture a lot of information right in shots like this it has a great ability to do image stabilizing but the moment we start to zoom in we we have a little bit less success with that but this turned out really good but i want you to see this is going back to the shots for instance so i'll use I'll use like that first shot that I took, which was way up here, I think. And this was with that that ultra wide screw on lens. And I'm actually inside video. It's actually not bad. The, the ultra wide, pretty good. Video is a lot more forgiving in regards to any kind of uh, distortion. There is some when you when you look up here, for instance, in the corners of this, you can see it's not as sharp as what it is in here. For sure. The corners do have some, but it's not this is like a $200 camera. And this is the thing that's kind of important and you guys have to take away from this. It's a $200-ish dollar camera, US, but it really comes with about $100 worth of accessories, like the lens and the microphone and the LED light and things like that. So really it's a $100 camera, you know? That's, that's pretty incredible that you can get anything for 100 bucks really for a camera. A little bit of distortion there. Yeah, okay, sure, I get it. But this is what the footage looks like before I put it through a stabilizer. Or you guys can see it here in the top corner, right? See how see how shaky that is, right? And I'm fairly fairly steady in regards to holding a camera. So Final Cut got a hold of that, and I just said image stabilize it. You could run it through iMovie, or if you're on a Windows computer, it should have a stabilizer in one of the software. So that shouldn't be an issue. Now, of course, if you're doing shots like this and I didn't run the stabilizer where it's just me talking. This is this is as jittery as as it is. That's that's it. So is that great? No, but are you going to be doing that with a camera like this? Probably not. I just wanted to to show you guys. Now, remember I showed you that little clippy thing, right? So that little clip thing and I was like I'm not really sure what this is. As far as I can tell, that's actually used so that you can clip that wide lens that you get 
onto like your cell phone if you want to do that or or another camera that because it's just clips over top of like your smartphone cool sure an added an added bonus again kind of neat um and the microphone actually it did okay you know it was pretty windy out there so i was a little concerned when we got back especially when we were walking and doing all that vlogging style stuff i guess while we were walking that the audio was just going to be absolute garbage now it's a little i don't want to say tinny but it's a little on the high high side like high versus low pitch or tone can that be modified yeah for sure could you have turned the plus 10 db on yeah i just had it at normal and you didn't get any wind noise it actually not 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 too bad and again you can plug in an external or a different microphone now the camera itself doesn't have a mic jack but one of the cables that i showed you remember i said it was a mini usb and it went out to like an audio and another mini usb that's how you get your headphone jack so that plugs into the back of the camera it goes out to a headphone jack your microphone plugs into that and you're you're ready to rock and roll not not too bad now in regards to photos this is actually where it did surprisingly better than i thought now again this is it talks about 24 megapixels. This is not a 24 megapixel sensor by any means. It's doing all kinds of interpolation and stuff like that. But if I bring up photos here and I bring up a photo here, so here's a photo taken with it. You know, I'll bring this full screen so you guys get a better look. That's not, again, you got to think that this is, I don't even know, this is like an action camera style sensor that's taking photos. That's, that's decently, and if it, even if I zoom in, it's not, it's not too bad. You know, I'm trying to figure out where the focus point is. Focus point isn't, it isn't like indefinite. It's kind of locks on wherever it locks on and then it kind of stays there. But that's not too bad. Here's one, here's one of Mary I took, you know, even at full zoom. Like that looks, that looks okay. I, there's not too much complaining there. Is there going to be some probably fringing? And again, this is what the wide, so you can see up in the corners that it gets or loses a bunch of detail in the, in the edges. But really, your focus is here and in the center of that wide. That's actually not too bad. I was actually Im impressed. I was like, oh, that's going to look horrible. But that's okay. That's all right. Again, for, for like an action cam style sensor. And then last but not least, here's here's another one that was taken. And this should have a fair bit of you know detail and resolution. So you can see in there, again, not a lot of fringing. And this is with the wide angle taken off. So this is the camera just just by itself. And yeah, that's that's not that's not too bad. I'm okay with that. That looks all right. It'll do. All right, guys. Um, I'm gonna leave that there with you. You guys have seen some video. You've seen what it looks like before I went through it. I didn't color grade it at all. It's it is what it is. The only thing I did was run the stabilizer on it. That was it. I ran the stabilizer on that footage that I showed you, but it's it's shaky it's got no stabilizer you and i are so used now to footage that comes with stabilizers that you just run it afterwards you should be okay and the other thing just you know as a, as a throw out there if you ran this off of a tripod most of that concern would be taken away so really to use this camera the wider the better for sure if you can get it on a tripod even better and and don't don't try to use the zoom very much Maybe a little bit of a zoom is okay, but the more you zoom in, the worse it the worse it gets for sure. But in its natural kind of state where it's at its wide, or even using that little screw on ultra wide, it's a, it's not too bad. And again, you got to think this is really a hundred dollar camera with a hundred dollars worth of accessories. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave you there. Uh, I do believe I have a little discount code. If you guys are like, yeah, that's good enough for me. That's all right. It's a nice way to start. You have you have a you have a kid, for instance, or somebody that wants to get into it, or just was like, I'm, a camera's a camera, whatever. I'll give you a, a little code till the end of November, 2020. Just make sure, 2020. All right, guys, I'm going to leave there. Links down below if you guys are interested at all. And that's all. That's it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Do it all up. All right, guys, I'm out. Got some more, got some more gear to test. Oh, yes. Later. Your dance. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff.